In the tapestry of my emotions, the thread of love for you weaves a persistent pattern, an unwavering force that constantly guides me back to your presence. You are an ever-present thought, a continuous reverie that occupies the forefront of my mind. If only you could fathom the depth of the unspoken words that dwell within me, awaiting the moment I can lay them bare. Let me embark on this journey of expression, where the recesses of my heart unfold like a well-worn novel. The melodic strains of your presence resonate within the chambers of my heart, playing a constant refrain that refuses to fade into the background. Despite my earnest attempts to resist, a futile endeavor to suppress the burgeoning emotions, your influence persists. Like a captivating symphony, you shook me to the core, leaving me suspended in a perpetual state of yearning for more, an insatiable desire that lingers in the air. Sleep becomes an elusive companion, evading my grasp as anxiety courses through my veins. This emotional turbulence is uncharted territory, an unfamiliar landscape that both terrifies and captivates me. The realization dawns upon me with a certain trepidation, you possess an unparalleled power over the recesses of my being. Yes, it's an unsettling truth that I find myself heartbroken in your absence, for you have become an emotional anchor, intricately woven into the fabric of my existence. The echoes of your words and the resonance of your actions reverberate through the corridors of my soul like no other. Each syllable and every gesture exerts an influence that transcends the ordinary, leaving an indelible imprint on the canvas of my emotions. Your significance in my life is not merely a fleeting impression but rather a profound revelation, a revelation that has reshaped the contours of my reality. As the days unfold, I grapple with the intensity of my emotions, a storm that shows no sign of abating. I navigate the uncharted waters of attachment, a realm where vulnerability is both my ally and my adversary. The fear that accompanies this emotional labyrinth stems from the acknowledgement that you, in your entirety, hold sway over my heart. In this intricate dance of emotions, I find solace and disquiet intertwined, a paradoxical melody that plays in the background of my existence. You are not merely a presence but a force, an enigma that has left an indelible mark on the narrative of my life. I traverse this emotional landscape, acutely aware that every step is a testament to the profound impact you've had on the core of my being. Today, I find myself delving into the profound energy of the Divine Masculine, a force that, unbeknownst to you, betrayed and deceived you clandestinely. The revelation of this unfaithfulness was nothing short of a seismic shock, catching you off guard and leaving you grappling with the unexpected depths of betrayal. As the weight of this truth settled in, you embarked on a journey of self-discovery, unraveling the intricate web of manipulation woven by this masculine figure in your past. In the wake of this unsettling revelation, a storm of emotions engulfed you, propelling you to a state of profound upset. The natural response was to erect barriers, distancing yourself from the source of this emotional turmoil. As you withdrew, your divine masculine, existing in the shadows, keenly sensed this detachment. From afar, they observed your metamorphosis, a transformation marked by an intensified focus on your own world and a burgeoning confidence that radiated resilience. In their silent observation, your divine masculine discerned a yearning to re-establish communication, a desire to bridge the emotional chasm that had grown between you. The detached energy you projected did not deter them, rather, it served as a catalyst for reflection. They waited, they watched, and they yearned for the moment when the connection could be rekindled. From the perspective of your divine masculine, your newfound independence and self-assurance cast a shadow of doubt. They questioned whether you had found contentment in solitude, free from the entanglements of attachment. Despite your solo journey, they harbored a fear that your time was being shared with others. The prospect of you forging connections outside the realm of their influence stirred a palpable unease. A perceptible shift in your demeanor did not escape their notice. Once an open book, you now became a narrative veiled in secrecy. 
Your life, once an open canvas, now held the brush strokes of privacy, leaving your divine masculine to grapple with the uncertainty of what lay behind the closed doors of your experiences. Reflecting on the choices they had faced in the past, choices that were met with resistance, your divine masculine now perceived you through a different lens. You, in their eyes, transformed into the embodiment of the Empress, a figure destined to intertwine with their own narrative. The intricacies of destiny, choice, and the ever-shifting tapestry of emotions now lay before them, as they grappled with the realization that the path forward might involve reclaiming the connection they had once taken for granted. In the quiet spaces between our shared moments, I sense the weariness that lingers within you, an almost palpable exhaustion that transcends mere physical fatigue. It's a weariness born not of the body, but of the soul, a weariness that stems from the repetitiveness of the same old words, the hollow echoes of promises unfulfilled, and the yearning for something more substantial. I feel your desire for a connection that goes beyond the surface, beyond the artful arrangement of syllables. It's a longing for a love that isn't confined to the realm of spoken language but one that pulsates with a vitality that can be felt, experienced, and reciprocated. I acknowledge that you're tired, tired of the rhetoric, tired of the verbosity that, at times, seems to drown the true essence of what we share. Your soul, in its silent eloquence, speaks volumes. I see it in the way your eyes reflect the passion that simmers beneath the surface, in the way they unveil the depth of our connection. Yet, there's a dissonance, an unspoken acknowledgement that, despite the intensity of our emotions, the words I offer stand alone, unaccompanied by actions that breathe life into their meaning. It's a paradox reflected in the very essence of our communication. You want more than words, you want deeds that resonate with the promises I make. The chasm between what is said and what is done looms large, casting shadows on the sincerity of my expressions. Your weariness is justified, for you've grown tired of a language that has become synonymous with empty assurances and promises that echo hollowly in the corridors of our shared experiences. As I navigate this delicate terrain of emotions, I am reminded of the questions that linger unspoken. Do my words carry weight? or are they mere whispers lost in the wind? Is the love I profess a flame that illuminates the path ahead, or is it a fleeting spark that flickers and fades? In the symphony of our emotions, there's a recurring theme, an anthem that echoes through the chambers of your heart. It's a melody called, Show Me Love, a composition that encapsulates the very essence of what you yearn for. You long not just to hear about love but to witness it in action, to feel its warmth in tangible gestures, and to know, without a shadow of doubt, that it is more than a string of eloquent words. I stand at the intersection of your weariness and my commitment, aware that the bridge between the two is built not with words alone but with the bricks of genuine actions. I aspire to disentangle myself from the labyrinth of empty promises, to transcend the limitations of language, and to show you, unequivocally, the depth of my love and appreciation. As the pages of our story unfold, I am acutely aware that actions, not words, will script the chapters that resonate with authenticity. It's a journey we undertake together, navigating the terrain of emotions, bridging the gaps between what is said and what is felt, and ultimately, striving to compose a symphony that harmonizes with the melody of our shared connection, 